As I clicked into my skis on that cold winter Icelandic night, the sky suddenly erupted above me with the green stream of the northern lights stretching from horizon to horizon. I could hardly believe my eyes or my ears. As I looked, it was as though the lights were singing to me with a deafening silence. It wasn't a music that I could hear with my ears, but it was one that I felt in my heart. My research had brought me to Iceland to explore not just how music and nature are connected, but how music can actually connect us more deeply to the natural world. One of the key components of environmental education is developing a sense of awe and wonder for the world around us. Rachel Carson taught that the more clearly we focus our attention on the wonders and realities of the universe about us, the less taste we shall have for destruction. Music and nature share a long history of connection, from Beethoven's pastoral symphony to Kepler's treatise on the harmony of the world. Music has the power to create and reinforce the sense of wonder, both through beauty of sound that it creates and also through natural representations, intentional representations, of both global and local landscapes. Um, as I traveled, I was exploring how music could do this. And as musicians and listeners create, through their performance, meaningful and emotional connections to place, they will be more likely to defend that place. Jon Leifs was an Icelandic composer who sought to capture the wildness of Iceland through his music of his homeland. The rugged character of his compositions captures this sense of wonder and this, this absolute rugged quality. Uh, one of his songs, Hecla, which is based on a volcanic eruption in 1946, this is actually the uh, eruption that's going on right now in Iceland. And he uses anvils and air raid sirens and shipping chains, cannons, musical sounding rocks and wooden hammers striking the floor to capture the violence of the volcanic eruption. But in other works, like his Serene Requiem, he uses just the beauty of the human voice and these ethereal harmonies to capture the beauty of the glacial meadows and the, the calm of the sea. The rugged quality of his, his compositions is truly derived of wonder, and you're deeply connected to the landscape that he, that he grew up in. This research is strengthened through performance of his music by the Northern Arizona University Chamber Singers. My research has shown, through the performance of the choir and in my own travels, one clear outcome. Music really can change the world. Thank you. <laughs>